Hello students, welcome back to our G-Prep channel. Hope all of you are doing well as usual. In the previous videos, we have studied the trigonometric functions of compound angles and the problems based on those compound angles. Now, we will study the trigonometric functions of allied angles. Now, what are allied angles? Allied angles are basically the two angles whose sum or difference is either 90 degrees or multiples of 90 degrees. For example, minus theta pi by 2 plus or minus theta pi plus or minus theta 3 pi by 2 plus or minus theta or 2 pi minus theta. Now I have expressed these angles in radians. You can write it in degrees also. So this is minus theta 90 plus or minus theta 180 plus or minus theta then 270 plus or minus theta and 360 minus theta. Now if you need to one example say angle 150 degrees and 30 degrees. If I take angle A as 150 degrees and angle B as 30 degrees then what is A plus B? It comes to be 180 degrees so it's 150 degrees and 30 degrees are allied angles 150 degrees and 30 degrees are allied angles now, all of you understood what are the allied angles. Now, let's find the trigonometric functions of such allied angles. Now, we will consider the Cartesian coordinate system. Now, we know that there are four quadrants. This is the first quadrant. This is the second quadrant. This is the third quadrant. And this is the fourth quadrant. Now, this is plus x-axis. This is minus x axis, this is plus y axis, and this is minus y axis. Now let's list out the angles in these quadrants. In the first quadrant, we always have 90 minus theta or pi by 2 minus theta. In the second quadrant, we have 90 plus theta or pi by 2 plus theta or pi minus theta or 180 minus theta. In third quadrant, we have the angles like 180 plus theta means pi plus theta or 270 minus theta or 3 pi by 2 minus theta. In fourth quadrant, this angle is completely 270, so the angles are 270 plus theta or 360 minus theta so this can be written as 3 pi by 2 plus theta and this is 2 pi minus theta then what are the signs of x value and y value and thereby cos and sine c as we know that x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sine theta that's the polar coordinates Cartesian coordinates of point P are P x comma y. So polar coordinates are P r cos theta comma r sin theta. Now if you take r equal to 1 for sake of understanding here then x become cos theta and y is sin theta. So now in the first quadrant x is positive and y is positive. But x is cos theta therefore in the first quadrant, cos theta is positive, while sin theta is also positive. Second quadrant is bounded by minus x axis and plus y axis. So therefore, x, x is minus and y is plus. Therefore, in second quadrant, cos theta is negative and sin theta is positive. So in the third quadrant, we have both x and y negative, 
because third quadrant is bounded by minus x axis and minus y axis. Then what about the fourth quadrant? Fourth quadrant is bounded by plus x axis and minus y axis. So therefore, x is cos theta and y is sin theta. Therefore, x now here x is plus and y is minus. So you will have to remember these signs of cos theta, sin theta, tan theta and other trigonometric functions in all these four quarters. And student, once you know the signs of this cos and sin, then the other signs of whether the plus sign or minus sign to be assigned to the other trigonometric function, that becomes very easy. Now let's start with trigonometric functions of 90 minus theta. Now, as we know, 90 minus theta comes in the first quadrant. So, in first quadrant, both sine theta and cos theta are positive. But always remember, if we have angles like 90 plus or minus theta, I mean 90 plus theta or 90 minus theta, same way, 270 plus theta and 270 minus theta, then always write sine as cos and cos as sine. So, I will write here as, sin 90 minus theta and cos 90 minus theta sin become cos and cos become sin you have to take exactly opposite now as 90 minus theta is in the first quadrant therefore this will have plus sin therefore this will have the plus sign hence sin 90 minus theta is plus cos theta while cos 90 minus theta is plus sine theta then how will you find tan 90 minus theta do it in a simple way sine 90 minus theta divided by cos 90 minus theta that will give you the answer that is a cos theta i will do it so therefore tan 90 minus theta is equal to sine sine 90 minus theta divided by cos 90 minus theta this comes to be cos theta upon a sin theta, therefore tan 90 minus theta is equal to cot theta. So therefore the answer is tan 90 minus theta is cot theta. Same way cosec 90 minus theta is sec theta and sec 90 minus theta is cosec theta. So as I told you earlier, once you know the sin 90 minus theta and cos 90 minus theta, it is easier to find out the other trigonometric functions of this 90 minus theta. Now let's proceed for 90 plus theta. Now for 90 plus theta, we will write here sin 90 plus theta and cos 90 plus theta. As I told you earlier, that 90 plus or minus theta sine become cos and cos become sine. Write it exactly opposite sine becomes cos, cos theta and cos becomes sine. But 90 minus theta lies in the second quadrant here. Okay, so in the second quadrant, sine is positive. Sine means y, it is positive. So this will be positive and cos is negative. So this will be negative. Therefore, sin 90 plus theta is plus cos theta while cos 90 plus theta is minus sin theta. Then what will be tan 90 plus theta? Tan 90 plus theta is equal to tan become cot. Cot theta. So this will be minus cot theta. Because in the second quadrant cos is negative. But sine is positive, therefore sine upon cos becomes minus. So therefore, tan 90 plus theta is minus cot theta. Tan 90 plus theta is minus cot theta. Then what will be sec 90 plus theta? Sec 90 plus theta. Now what do you mean by sec? Sec means 1 upon cos. What is cos 90 plus theta minus sine theta? So therefore, this will become minus cosec theta same way cosec 
90 plus theta will be cosec is 1 upon sin 90 plus theta but sin 90 plus theta is plus cos theta so this will become plus sec theta so these are the trigonometric ratios of the angles 90 plus theta now let's try for 180 minus theta now for 180 minus theta now this 180 minus theta is in the second quarter 180 minus theta is in the second quarter and we know that in the second quarter x is negative i mean cos is negative cos theta is negative while sine theta is positive so therefore now i will write sine 180 minus theta and cos 180 minus theta so always remember whenever you have 180 plus or minus theta i mean 180 plus theta and 180 minus theta always remember sine remains as sine and cos remains as cos same way for 360 plus or minus theta cos remains as cos and sine remains as sine i will repeat suppose if we have allied angles 90 plus or minus theta or 270 plus or minus theta sine become cos and cos become sine but for 180 plus or minus theta or 360 plus or minus theta sine remains as sine and cos remains as cos so therefore this is sine 180 minus theta this remains as sine so cos will remain as cos now we have to check whether the plus sign or minus sign now sign in the second quadrant is positive so therefore this will be positive and cos in the second quadrant is negative so therefore this will be negative same way you can find the other trigonometric functions for this allied angle tan 180 minus theta is minus tan theta then sig 180 minus theta is equal to sig remains as sig sig theta but sig means 1 upon cos and cos is negative in the second quarter and therefore sig is also negative similarly cosec 180 minus theta is equal to cosec theta but cosec means 1 upon sine and sine has plus sine over here so this is plus same way cot 180 minus theta is equal to minus cot theta minus cot theta so these are the trigonometric functions for 180 minus theta now let's try for the trigonometric function for 180 plus theta now as you know that 180 plus theta lies in the third quadrant so we will have to note that both cos and sine functions are negative in the third quadrant so therefore now sine 180 plus theta and cos 180 plus theta so as i told you earlier for 180 plus theta and 180 minus theta sine remains as sine and cos remains as cos so i will get here sine theta and this as cos theta so sine 180 plus theta is sine theta but in the third quadrant both sine and cos are negative hence this will be minus and even this will also be minus so sine 180 plus theta is minus sine theta while cos 180 plus theta is minus cos theta i hope you are following all these concepts then students what will be tan 180 plus theta it will be plus tan theta so therefore tan 180 plus theta is equal to plus tan theta and cosec 180 plus theta cosec means 1 upon sine so therefore this will be cosec only but with minus sign and sec 
180 plus theta is equal to sec theta it will be minus and cot 180 plus theta is equal to plus cot theta so these are the trigonometric functions for the allied angle 180 plus theta now try for 270 minus theta and 270 plus theta now 270 minus theta will be in the third quadrant again cos and sine both are negative and this is 270 minus theta and 270 is the multiple of 90 degrees so therefore sine become cos and cos becomes sine so therefore i will write this as 270 minus theta so i will write this as now sine 270 minus theta and cos 270 minus theta so as i told you that 270 plus or minus theta sine become cos so i will write here cos theta and here i will write it as sine theta now in the second quadrant both are negative so their values are negative then what will be tan 270 minus theta it will be plus cot theta what will be cosec 270 minus theta it will be minus sec theta and so on so then how will you find trigonometric functions for the angle 270 plus theta now this angle lies in the fourth quarter the angle lies in the fourth quarter so then i will write here sine 270 plus theta and cos 270 plus theta now sine 270 plus or minus theta sine become cos so this is cos theta and this is sine theta but 270 plus theta is in the fourth quadrant see 270 plus theta is in the fourth quadrant and fourth quadrant cos is positive and sine is negative cos is positive and sine is negative therefore sine 270 plus theta is minus cos theta while cos 270 plus theta is plus sine theta then similarly then what are the trigonometric functions for the angle 2 pi minus theta it's very simple So therefore, this is sine 360 minus theta is now sine remains as sine theta and cos 360 minus theta cos remains as cos theta. But as we know that this 360 minus theta is in the fourth quadrant and in the fourth quadrant cos is positive but sine is negative therefore this sign will become minus and the cos will become plus so these are the trigonometric functions of these allied angles hope all of you understood this trigonometric functions of various allied angles 